Season 1 of Silo is set in a dystopian future, where generations of survivors are living in a massive underground bunker that extends hundreds of stories below the ground, due to toxic air making the Earth's surface uninhabitable. All records of humanity's past were lost in an uprising 140 years prior, and any gossip about what life was like before humans were forced underground, or relics from that forgotten era, are strictly forbidden. For any crime punishable by death, including voicing the illegal desire to go outside, the culprit is sent out in an airtight suit to the Earth's surface where they will face certain death to clean camera sensors so that the silo's inhabitants have a clear recorded view of the desolation above. Allison Becker is the wife of the silo Sheriff Holston, and she becomes convinced that the silo's leaders are lying to everyone about the dangers of the surface to keep everyone subservient. IT expert George Wilkins asks for her help in decrypting an old hard drive he has found that dates back to the time before the rebellion rid the silo of its history. On that hard drive, Allison discovers videos of the outside world that appear to show it flourishing with life, implying that the desolation shown to the silo's inhabitants are all a lie. Allison becomes consumed by her new radicalized beliefs and eventually declares her desire to go outside, much to her husband Holston's horror. Before departing to a supposed certain death, Allison tells Holston that if the outside world appears safe, she will clean the camera sensors. And so, Holston watches on a massive viewing screen live feed footage of his wife cleaning the sensors before seemingly collapsing dead. Years later, Holston investigates the death of George Wilkins, which was ruled an accident, though his lover Juliet Nichols claims it was murder. Juliet is a hard-working and well-respected engineer working in the depths of the silo's mechanical department, where the lower-class citizens resent the more privileged inhabitants living on the higher floors. While looking into George's death, Holston is drawn back into Allison's own beliefs, and is finally convinced of his wife's conspiracy theory. And so, Holston too chooses to go outside believing he will be reunited with his wife. Up above, Holston witnesses a surface miraculously filled with life through his airsuit's visor, but down below, everyone watches the camera footage of Holston perishing upon reaching the surface. In his will, Holston nominated Juliet to serve as his replacement as sheriff. Holston's loyal friend and deputy Marnes and the silo's mayor Johns agree to honor Holston's wishes and make the long trek down to Mechanical to recruit Juliet for the job. Marnes and Johns meet great opposition from two of the silo's most high-ranking leaders, the head of judicial Judge Meadows and the head of IT Bernard Holland, who view the lower-class Juliet as an unsuitable candidate. But Marnes and Johns remain undeterred and offer Juliet the job. Juliet loves her work in mechanical and loathes the idea of moving to the top of the silo amongst the pretentious residents she resents. But the opportunity to gain access to more resources in her investigation into George's murder spur her to accept the badge. And so, so Juliet leaves behind the makeshift family she has made for herself in Mechanical, including her friends, the engineers Knox and Shirley, the lower level deputy Hank, and Juliet's kind and agoraphobic engineer mentor Walker. On the journey back up to the top, Marnes and Johns profess their love for each other before the mayor drops dead from an apparent poisoning, and Marnes is murdered in his own home. Head of IT Bernard takes over as interim mayor and swears in Juliet as the new sheriff, making amends with her despite his prior distaste for the lower level residents. Juliet is assigned a new deputy, Peter Billings, who Judicial wants to replace Juliet as sheriff. Despite this, Peter proves himself a genuine friend to Juliet, swearing he has no allegiance to the oppressive department. As the two grow closer and Juliet begins to trust her new partner, she discovers that he is infected with the Syndrome, a serious health condition that he keeps secret to avoid losing his job. While Juliet looks into both John's and Marn's murders, the head of Judicial Security Forces Sims frames a man named Doug in an attempt to quickly wrap up the investigation. While getting adjusted to her new life in the upper levels, Juliet develops a kinship with IT employee Lucas Kyle, who has an affinity for the strange lights seen in the surface's night sky, unaware that they are in fact stars. Juliet also tries to avoid seeing her estranged father, Dr. Peter Nichols, who she abandoned for mechanical after the death of her mother years prior. Juliet's mother, Hannah, was a doctor who experimented with illegal relic magnifying equipment in an attempt to cure a hole in her young son, 
Jacob's heart. Judicial somehow discovered this illegal equipment and raided the Nichols' home, destroying the magnifier, leading to Jacob's death and the deterioration of Hannah's mental health that ultimately led to her death. Juliet has always blamed her father for ratting out her mother and has resented him ever since. Juliet also acquires a relic children's book with pictures of the outside world before the Earth's fall. Eventually, Juliet discovers that there are advanced surveillance cameras hidden all throughout the silo, including in people's private residences, which Judicial uses to see everything to advance their oppressive rule. Juliet realizes that this is how they learned of her mother's magnifier, and that Peter was innocent, leading to the father and daughter reconciling. Eventually, Juliet evades Sims and Judicial forces to find George's relic hard drive that Holston had kept hidden. Unable to access its contents, she turns to Lucas for help, who denies her out of fear of the consequences. Juliet decides to take the hard drive to the smartest person she knows, Walker, but is unable to reach the lower levels of mechanical due to judicial forces. With nowhere to turn, Juliet is confronted by Bernard, who reveals that he is the true secret leader of the silo who enforces all of its oppressive rules, and who was responsible for the murders of Johns and Marnes. Bernard and Sims then arrest Juliet and falsely claim that she is asked to go outside, ensuring that she'd be forced out of the silo and into certain death. Juliet manages to escape custody and go into hiding with the help of lower-level allies Patrick Kennedy, a relic smuggler, and Danny, a criminal hacker. Together, they discover videos that George had left for Juliet on the hard drive, where he affirms his love for her and implores her to search for a secret door underneath the silo. Danny then broadcasts footage of the thriving and vibrant surface to the entire silo before the broadcast is shut down by Bernard, and Juliet is finally apprehended. And for his association with Juliet, Lucas is fired by Bernard from IT and sent to work in the silo's mines. In the end, as Juliet prepares to be sent to the surface, Bernard reveals to her that George's death was not in fact a murder, but a sacrifice he made so he couldn't be tortured by judicial into giving up his fellow co-conspirators. Bernard's confidence in his known order of the silo is shaken when Juliet reveals her knowledge of a secret door at the bottom of the silo. And for his loyalty throughout Juliet's investigation, Bernard names Sims his shadow to train him in the true secrets behind the silo. As Juliet is forced to leave the silo in her airtight suit, she sees the same imagery of vibrant life in her visor's monitor, leading her to the shocking revelation that this promise of life on the outside was the true lie, used to give final moments of hope to those sent out to clean. The desolate and uninhabitable landscape was the truth, yet strangely, Juliet doesn't die like all of the others sent before her to clean. Instead, Walker had realized that past cleaners were sent out with purposefully faulty suits that allowed in the toxic surface air, and so she managed to reinforce Juliet's suit with reliable heat tape from her friends in Mechanical. And so Juliet marches away from the silo, going further than anyone had gone before, discovering dozens of other silos extending out into the distance with a ruined city adorning the horizon.